What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a sneaker giveaway, and in order to join, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my other channel as well. If you want to know what five sneakers I'm giving away, you can go ahead and find the video to the giveaway down in the description below. But if you don't care and all you want is a free pair of sneakers, then all you got to do is subscribe to both channels. By the way, I have been forgetting to mention that the giveaway ends at 5,000 subscribers, so once this channel hits 5,000 subscribers, I will choose a winner. Anyways, moving on with the video, today I do have an app review. And this app only works for iPhone users. So if you're an Android user, as of now, this app does not work for you. So before I start getting all the hate in the comments, I'm letting you guys know that now. First, I'm going to talk about the app and what it is. And then after, I'm going to show you on my phone exactly how to use it. So the way the app works is that there's a countdown. And once that countdown hits zero, the customer can then enter the sale for their sneakers and then check out with Apple Pay. So if you don't have Apple Pay on your iPhone, you have to set it up prior to the countdown ending. And also you have to make sure that your iPhone takes Apple Pay, which I'm pretty sure most iPhones do nowadays. Maybe not the older ones though, maybe anything below, I'd say probably a 5S. Most likely any iPhone that doesn't have this fingerprint sensor. Anyways, that's enough talking. Let me show you guys how it really works so you guys can get ready for this Saturday. All right, so I'm gonna be looking at the phone a lot more than I'm gonna be looking at the screen. So excuse me for that. But to start off, what you wanna do is go to the Frenzy app, which you can see is the bottom middle one for me. And then you just wait for it to open. And as you can see, there is a countdown for the Yeezy V2 red colorway. The sneaker releases on this app in 2 days, 11 hours, and 23 minutes. And as you guys can see, there is a circle around the shoe, which shows you a visual countdown. So once that circle completes, the sneaker will be for sale. And if you look at the circle on top, there is a circle that says OTH inside of it. And I'm pretty sure that that's the name of the brand that's actually selling the shoe. So as you can see on top, it says tap to confirm your Apple Pay details. You want to go ahead and tap on that if it's your first time using the app. And if you don't have Apple Pay set up, this is what you're going to get. So all you want to do is go ahead and set it up. Go ahead and tap on that there. And of course, you got to add the credit card, debit card, or whatever card you need, which I'm not going to show you this part because this is confidential. Okay, so once you have the Apple Pay set up, you want to go ahead and click on step number two, which is complete your profile. And as you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. It says, make sure your Apple Pay defaults are complete and up to date. We need these details in order to process a checkout. Open the settings app. Next, scroll down to open wallet and Apple Pay, which I just set up, so it should all be correct. And then finally, confirm that your billing address, shipping address, email, and phone are complete. So once you confirm that all the information is correct, go ahead and click confirm, and you're all set. And then right below it, it says, be sure to make any necessary address changes to credit card info updates prior to entering the sale. And as you can see, that's all the app really looks like. It's just pretty simple. And once that countdown hits zero, the way it works, it's going to say zero. And then that circle on the bottom, I'm pretty sure you tap it. So, I mean, nothing's going to happen right now. But once it hits zero, you tap that. And then it's going to ask you to choose the size of the sneaker. And then once you choose your size, you got to confirm everything. And I'm pretty sure you have to check out with your thumb. And I'm pretty sure you have to have Touch ID set up as well, which you kind of have to for Apple Pay anyway. So it's kind of already, it all works out together in the end. So once you have your size selected and you made sure that all your information is correct, like your address, your phone number, your name, and all that, go ahead and pay. Put your thumb on the Touch ID sensor and just hope that you get them because you do have to be quick. You do want to be on the fastest internet because there are a, a bunch of other people trying this as well. So you do have to be quick and you do have to have quick internet speed as well. Anyways, that wraps up this app's review. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by Senior Con Fort Lauderdale, which is this Saturday. But before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Kobe James. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Make sure you stay well. Our sneaker sign out.